Things are a little different this year. A little different and a little distant. They say it's unprecedented. We say it's a chance to show our strengths through innovation, ingenuity, patience, and generosity. Things Knights are known for. Your time at UCF ended differently than we all thought it would. But here's the thing. Graduation doesn't make you a knight. You've always been a knight, ever since you stepped on campus, maybe long before then, and nothing will ever change that. You have years of experiences that no one can take away from you. Exciting memories, inspiring moments, challenging triumphs, and dreams come true. Unbeaten, 13-0. No one will ever have the same college experience as you, and that's a wonderful thing. Classes beginning for the first time at UCF Downtown. The 15-acre campus is the new home to more than 20 degree programs. The future is yours to shape too. No matter what your focus was in the classroom, you are now a better version of yourself, ready to make an impact right here in our community. For a small group of UCF students, their bi-weekly trip to downtown Orlando is a chance to connect with those less fortunate. Across the country, the Limitless Solutions team at UCF helping to design a 3D printed ventilator that requires no electricity. Around the world, we have scientists, we have engineers, we have others who could be thinking about how do you test, how do you diagnose, how do you cure. And out beyond the stars determined to return to the moon by 2024. UCF is a critical part of that plan. Right now, we celebrate you, the class of 2020, in the best way we can, and simply ask that you take care of yourself and others. Stay strong, stay curious, and as always, charge on. second commencement exercise of the University of Central Florida. I'm Elizabeth Klonoff, Vice President for Research and Dean of the College of Graduate Studies. To begin our ceremony, our vocalist, Jose Velez, and our organist, Andrew Walker, will lead us in singing our national anthem. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the burrows fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket. President, 
the fall 2020 graduating class of the University of Central Florida's College of Graduate Studies is virtually assembled. Thank you. And thank you all for being with us online today. Obviously, this virtual commencement is not our preferred way to honor your achievements. All of us at UCF hope we are able to provide a recognition worthy of your successes in person when it is safe to gather together again. This is a big milestone in the lives of our graduates. And I am very pleased that so many friends, family members, and guests are able to join us virtually to help celebrate their accomplishments. It took a lot of hard work for them to get where they are, and I am honored to reward them with the degrees and certificates they are here to receive. They have definitely earned them. I know you are proud of your graduates, and I also know that a good part of their success is because of your love and support. Family and friends, thank you for all you have done to help get them this far, and for all you will continue to do. Today is a celebration of your success too. Before we continue, I'd like to acknowledge some special members of the UCF family who may not be with us online today. UCF's brave men and women who have been called away to active military duty. I would also like to acknowledge two additional groups of graduates, graduating members of our ROTC programs who have just been, or are about to be, commissioned as officers in our armed forces and our graduating student veterans. All of these graduates deserve our special thanks and congratulations. To UCF's faculty, you are the foundation of our great institution and mentors to the next generation of pioneers and innovators. Thank you for your contributions and impact. The dedication you and all educators have displayed in these unprecedented times is nothing short of amazing. Our commencement speaker is the founder and CEO of Fat Merchant, a payments and technology innovator. Under her leadership, Fat Merchant has experienced explosive growth, raising $100 million in venture capital funding and employing over 100 people. Known as the Netflix of credit card processing, the company's integrated technology has disrupted what was once a stagnant industry offering a radically simple all-in-one payment experience for established businesses across the nation. She has been named the most influential woman in payments, CEO of the year, and one of Florida's most influential business leaders. In addition to her recent recognition as one of Fortune's 40 under 40, she has spoken at Money 2020 Collision, and TEDx. She's also an active writer for Forbes and the Entrepreneur Network. Please welcome Sunira Madani. Welcome, faculty, parents, friends, relatives, Zoom invaders, but most importantly, Welcome graduates to the 2020 commencement ceremony of the University of Central Florida. Whether you're watching the ceremony from your living room, social distancing at a small home celebration with your loved ones, or secretly wearing pajamas under your cap and gown, you truly deserve to have the biggest celebration today. Graduates, you did it. You're finally here today on your commencement day, a day you have been looking forward to for years a day you have worked so incredibly hard for. This day has finally arrived. So for the next 24 hours, I ask that you mute the world. Set aside the craziness and the uncertainty of what comes next. Soak in all your well-deserved glory, for this is one of the greatest moments of your life, one that no pandemic can ever take away. So own this moment. Feel that energy, that excitement, that celebration, and take credit for your success, unscathed and unhindered by the toils of 2020. Thank you, President Cartwright, 
and thank you UCF for this extraordinary honor to be the commencement speaker for the graduating class today and for the next 24 hours, allowing me to take part in this moment in 2020 as 6,500 bright, talented, brilliant dreamers prepare to embark on the next chapter of their journey. This honor I will remember for life, and I hope that my address to you today will leave you a bit more inspired, a bit more driven, and feeling a shit ton more empowered as tomorrow you take on a new world, a world that is actually new to all of us, my name is Sanira Madani, and I was given the honor to be your commencement speaker today because years ago, I was a student just like you, with big dreams, aspirations, and a vision to change the world in my own way. Like many of you today, I was in search of something I didn't know how to get, but never wanted anything more in my life. You see, I am an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur that just like you today, had every card stacked against them. And against all the odds, I turned a rejected idea into Florida's most successful startup, Fat Merchant, a payment technology company now doing billions in payments. I became an overnight success, eight years in the making. I became the most influential woman in payments in a complete male-dominated industry. I raised over $100 million in venture capital when less than 1% of venture capital goes to minority founders. It's hard to win against the house when the odds are stacked against you. But I want you to know that it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It is possible if you play your cards right. And today, in the spirit of everything stacked against us in 2020, here are just a few of the top lessons that I have learned in business that can help you beat every odd that ever comes your way. Lesson number one, know your why. I am the daughter of immigrant parents who came to this country with absolutely nothing to their name. Having an education was not an option for them. So achieving the American dream was dependent on their own success. They worked hard, extremely hard. They built their lives and sacrificed all they had to give me and my brother an education so that their kids can live the American dream, the dream of freedom, opportunity, and most importantly, privilege that comes with that dream. Much like some of you listening today, I was the first person in my entire family to graduate college, and I did it with honors. I did it not for me. I did it to make them proud and to ensure that all their sacrifices did not go to waste. I wanted to ensure that my privilege that came from the backs of my parents' sacrifices meant something greater and that it was my duty, no matter what career I ended up choosing, I do it with 100% joy, 100% dedication, and 110% for a bigger reason than just me. Your why is the reason you worked so hard to get here and to become a nurse or an engineer or an entrepreneur in business. That why is what keeps you motivated, consistent, and showing up. It separates the winners from the losers. The power in your why is mightier than the challenge stacked ahead. Your why is the reason you choose to do what you do, and it should be what guides you as you execute. The why is what keeps you charging on, even on days when there is nothing left to give. When you show up for that why, you will win every single time. Lesson number two, bet on yourself. Without a lot of resources, and by that I mean zero dollars in my bank account, I quit my steady, benefit-paying, full-time job and decided to present my idea to other companies in the industry because truthfully, I completely lacked the confidence to venture out on my own. If this were a feel-good movie, I would then tell you that one of these companies thought the idea was brilliant and I went on to rise in the ranks of CEO. That is not what happened. Or at least it didn't happen in that order. I pitched the idea to 12 companies, and 12 companies told me no. No one believed in me. My vision for the first subscription-based processing company, my record-breaking billion-dollar idea, and quite frankly, I almost didn't believe in me either. It wasn't until I had no other options left and the push of my brother that I had to take the final bet on me. I gave myself six months, moved back into my parents' house, 
and sold payment terminals out of the trunk of my Volkswagen Beetle to find any business that would be willing to trust a 26-year-old with their hard-earned money. Looking back now, thank God I took that bet on me. And I'm even more grateful that others took a bet on me too. 130 of the most brilliant humans who joined my team, over 6,000 businesses, venture capitalists, PE firms, and even investors took a bet too. And my younger brother, who pushed me to take that first bet and go against the odds, joined me as my partner and co-founder. But I needed to take a bet on myself first, and you should too. Believe in yourself and in your vision. Even when others tell you no, or it seems you're the only one, put aside your self-limiting beliefs and do not be afraid to bet on you. Be confident in your vision and you'll be surprised at how soon others will follow. But always, always be the first to bet on yourself. For this next lesson, lesson number three, I thought long and hard of what defines people that are successful. If you look at your favorite athlete, entertainer, or anyone you look up to and admire, you'll notice all the greatest leaders have this one trait in common, a growth mindset. So class of 2020, your next lesson for today, lesson number three, is you can't be committed to your dream and your comfort zone. Comfort is the enemy of growth and everything, and I truly mean anything you want in life is 100% waiting for you on the other side of consistency. The power of habit, journaling, physical activity, meditation, goal setting, and the sheer will of showing up is a big part of achieving success and putting your plan to action. Once you set your goals, break them down into micro goals to make attaining your overall goals more manageable and less intimidating. Think of it this way. If you wanna run a marathon, you're not just gonna show up and run it. You have to train. This applies to goals. Spend time and prioritize. Put in the effort to break your goals down into micro goals and work on them every single day. I wish I could sit here and give you the magic one-liner to inspire your overnight success story, but you know I can't. What I can tell you is the truth. And if you take anything away from this speech today, remember this, there are zero shortcuts to success. Hard work is the shortcut. Lesson number four. There is an African proverb that reads, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Take a few seconds right now to look around you. The faces you see and the relationships that are celebrating you now and tomorrow, they matter. There have always been and always will be selfless, loving people in your life that support you cheer you on, and be there for you. These relationships should be prioritized on the top of your list after you leave today. Your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, and even future friends, your future spouse, and your future coworkers matter in your success story. And for our next lesson, lesson number four, I give you one of my favorite discoveries, which is one team, one dream. Surround yourself with others who share your passions and values. No matter what life throws at you, having an inner circle you can lean on is important when the time gets rough and celebrate with you in those moments you've just crushed the odds, who will hype you up and remind you of your why, who will bet on you in those critical moments you may forget to bet on yourself. Nurture these relationships and future ones. As you venture out into the world to do great things and become a great leader, become a great leader in every aspect of your life and lead. Lead with an open heart, lead with vulnerability, and most importantly, lead with empathy. Let go of resentment. Don't be afraid to be the first to say, I'm sorry. And most importantly, be kind. Be kind to all. Be inclusive for those that are left out and stand up for those that don't have a voice. Winning is fun, but winning with friends is even better. Lastly, for my final lesson today, I wanted to share something really personal. My dad would explain my success by saying, Sonny, you have it. I would annoyingly respond by saying, Dad, what does it even mean? Ever since I was a little girl, he would remind me that I have it. 
every single day, and luckily, even as an adult. I didn't understand the meaning of having it until he passed away this year. The it factor is that hard to define quality that makes someone special and outstanding. It is a magic inside all of us, a feeling of confidence and a steadfast belief in yourself. Ruth Bader Ginsburg had it. Malala and Beyonce have the it factor. Oprah and Serena Williams have it too. Don't worry guys, it's not the feminist in me saying that only women have the it factor, as much as I'd like to feel that way. Elon Musk, John Legend, and of course Kobe Bryant had it too. People from all walks of life and all backgrounds have it. So, for the final biggest lesson of all as you enter into this next phase of life, know that you also have it. It is your superpower. But the X factor is what you do with it. So go out there and make things happen. Execute tomorrow on your vision and dreams of today. And don't give in to excuses. Have the resilience and the drive to make an impact and trust in your it factor. Remember, success isn't something that happens overnight. It takes will, dedication, and hustle. Be consistent, put in the hard work, and you will get the results. And for all of you aspiring entrepreneurs in the UCF class of 2020, remember too that there is no such thing as a billion dollar idea, only a billion dollar execution. As you figuratively and literally close the book today on this chapter, know that tomorrow is day one and the real work begins. Remember to know your why always, to win with friends, to continue to learn, and of course, to bet on yourself and your superpowers. When you do that, no matter what it is that you do in life, the odds will always be in your favor. Charge on nights and congratulations to the UCF graduating class of 2020. Stay humble and stay hungry. Thank you, Sunira. The innovative and entrepreneurial spirit that you exhibit are defining values of UCF. We are amazed by your story and what you've been able to accomplish. Your ingenuity and commitment shines through and you have transformed a key segment of society in an impactful way. Thank you. And now, the exciting time in our program when degrees are conferred and we read our graduates' names. Given the number and diversity of names at UCF, we apologize if there are any mispronunciations. Will Dr. Michael Johnson, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, please commence with the conferral of degrees. Dr. Klonoff, will you present the candidates for the master's degree? Mr. President, on behalf of the Dean and the faculty, I am pleased to present these candidates for the degrees for which they qualify and recommend that they be conferred. Thank you, Dr. Klonoff. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and with the concurrence of the UCF Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and for which you have qualified with all the rights and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations to those who have earned this distinction. Francesca I. Armijos. Anas Bilharsa. Kaylin Jade Bradley. Raul D. Persia. Violeta Yuriviena Eolan. Karen Hadwani. Rick Jeremiah Hassan. Carlos Wilfredo Julian. Katrina Una Johanna Kioska, Ernesto Navarro Garcia, Karina Shante Nelson, Christy Lynn Ogerbeck, Allison Reynolds. Hello, and welcome to everyone tuned into this ceremony. Friends, family, and the graduating class of 2020. Today we celebrate all of your achievements as you become an official graduate of the University of Central Florida. As we embrace our new normal, we are reminded of what it means to be a knight. Knights are resilient, innovative, 
and determined. As knights, we learn to adapt to our surroundings. We charge on. This may not be the last time we face a challenge like this, but we must continue to move forward. Let today be a reminder to you all that despite the roadblocks and the trying times, you still cross the finish line. When you first became a knight, you entered a diverse community that celebrated our differences. This community wouldn't be what it is without all of you, and you have made your mark on UCF forever. You have shown us perseverance, courage, and integrity. Each of you has impacted this university in more ways than one. You are each an integral part of our Knight community, and you will forever be a member of our UCF family. Today signifies that you have risen to the challenge and you have all succeeded, and that's worth celebrating. As this chapter closes, reflect on your UCF journey and the course it took you to cross this line today. But don't stop there. Look forward to tomorrow. Today is only the first day in this next chapter of your lives. As you continue on your path, you will always carry UCF with you. This is a pivotal moment in your career and you have the knowledge and the wisdom to scale new heights. If you ever find yourself lost, just remember the tenets you've embodied in your time at UCF, the creed, integrity, scholarship, community, creativity, and excellence. Remember these core values and treat them as guiding principles as you go out into the world and accomplish incredible things. With these values and the knowledge you've gained during your time at UCF, you'll be unstoppable. Go out into the world, follow your passions, cultivate your talents, and never forget your alma mater. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Go into the world and make us proud. Thank you, President LaRosa. We are living in extraordinary times, and this class of 2020 finds itself in an unprecedented historic moment. The fact that we are unable to safely join together in person today as planned to celebrate your milestone is a reflection of the many changes this year. We do hope we will be able to gather together again soon, but until then, I'd like you to reflect on what I'm beginning to understand as the defining spirit of this young institution. The motto at UCF is reach for the stars. People talk about having a one and oh approach to tomorrow. And when someone says go Knights, I always hear the reply, charge on. I know these are more than catchy phrases. They sum up a philosophy at UCF. When you say reach for the stars, it's a call to push oneself to dream big, to refuse to be limited by what others say is possible. When people say want to know, they mean that when you achieve a goal, you set a new one, a harder one. Cherish the victory, but don't rest on it. Reset because the next challenge awaits. And when, like now, there are obstacles, when there are inevitable setbacks, charge on. Some call that perseverance or tenacity. But from what I've seen of this great university, it's just part of what it means to be a knight. UCF is a place where defying odds is not the exception, it is the expectation. So take this place with you as you go out to change the world. You are needed now more than ever. We will close our ceremony by singing the alma mater. Thank you for joining us for today's commencement ceremony. Go Knights and charge on. All hail to all the mother whose banners black and gold will wave in and splendor as the passing years unfold. May loyalty and friendship within our
Fellow Knights, Nicole Stott here, wishing you happy graduation. Not the commencement you planned on, I know, but life is always an adventure. I hope that uh, you go forth and do great things, and always remember that we live on a planet, we are all Earthlings, and the only border that matters is that thin blue line of atmosphere that blankets and protects us all. So live like crew, not passengers here on Spaceship Earth, and I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings. Congratulations on your recent graduation from the University of Central Florida. We're very proud of you. We look forward to working with each of you. I know that things are different this year, but I offer you this bit of advice. Pray first, aim high, and stay focused. Hola, Knights. Cindia Morales Muñiz, Director of HSI Culture and Partnerships at UCF and Class of 2013, Doctorate in Educational Leadership. My advice, continue to seek out opportunities for professional growth. Learning never stops. Congratulations, muchas felicidades y vamos nights. To my baby girl, Kashanda Renee Ingram, Class of 2020, University of Central Florida, I am so proud of you, and I just pray from here on is nothing but many, many more blessings for you. I love you, and God bless you. Hey, Jean Paul, we just wanted to wish you congratulations on your success, your graduation. We wish you the best in whatever that you do. Bye, Jean Paul. Congratulations. We knew you could do it. We'd like to congratulate you on a successful educational journey. Felicidades a todos. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations to all the graduates at UCF. And I'd like to give a really special shout out to our doctoral masters and undergraduate graduates. I'm so excited for our graduates who are celebrating their successes today. Thank you for all of the energy and expertise that you put into your degrees. Thank you for representing UCF and our college as you go out into the world and make a difference. Congratulations to all of you for meeting this particular milestone in your life. You have achieved so much. And as Knights, we know that you will make your mark in the world and achieve much more. Congratulations, Burnett Honors Scholars. We are so excited about the foot the future holds for you. Graduates, I know this was not the graduation ceremony you wanted nor expected. You've experienced an unprecedented disruption in the final year of your education. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you personally, but I know that you, know, you will be doing great. But regardless, you get to celebrate today and you need to be proud of all of the accomplishments that you have made. The grit and perseverance you have shown these last few months will serve you well throughout your careers and lives. You succeeded in historic times. Go forth and be strong. Stay healthy, do good, and live well. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2020. With all your accomplishments you've done throughout the years at UCF, we are so proud to call you part of our Knight family. Although we can't be together in person today, I hope you know I'm always rooting for you as you go on in your years. And as always, go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Charge on. And charge on. And charge on. Fall 2020 graduates, congratulations. What you've accomplished today is extraordinary. There is no doubt that your last few semesters at UCF have been unlike what you ever imagined. But you did not let this deter you from your goal. You have proven that Knights can always be counted on to rise to every occasion, no matter the obstacle, by continuing to excel in even the most trying times. These are incredible strengths that you will carry with you helping you to succeed today and for many years to come. That is why I remain so optimistic about your future. You will positively impact society through your vision of what is possible, the hard work necessary to accomplish that vision, and the support of your friends, loved ones, and all of us at UCF. Because you show the difficulties that you face do not define you, but help you grow in all the ways needed to unleash your potential and make our world a better place. We have enjoyed watching so many of you walk across the stage during our grad walk, and that you've been able to celebrate this milestone with your families in a safe way 
this semester. All of us at UCF are so proud of you and all you have achieved. And today, we honor you and the exciting path ahead. And we say to UCF's newest alumni, go Knights and charge on. <laughs>